live in two different places, two different countries, two different continents, two different coasts. It's the same continent, really. Um, but uh, I'm here. Uh, first of all, introduce yourself. Uh, you know, I go by the Magnificent. Or the Batmobile. I don't know what it is, but um, it's a daylight. Tell me kind of... Uh, you know, how do you see Thesaurus as a as a battle? I chose I chose the source for this battle. I chose him. Um, I had other options like John John and Don, Big T. I had a lot of other options. Um, I chose the source for one reason. Uh, he's a legend. He is a legend in my book, and um, he's a West Coast legend at that. You know what I mean? And um, you know, uh, he paved the way for the West. You know what I mean? Like he paved the way. He 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 put in the work. At a at an era when at an era when battle rap was technically considered the East Coast thing, he he was doing work. You know what I mean? He held it down for the West. You know what I mean? Him and Ill Mac disaster, they held it down. They're all legends. So on my timeline, people don't understand the way I battle. It's not about like it's not about it's not about the name sometimes. Cause my battle, my whole career is a big piece, is a big story, and he is a a, a essential puzzle. Hey, Avocado just walked in and he has on his shirt. Wow. <laughs> he has on his shirt. His arms are not showing. Wow. <laughs> but, like you know, movie. so my career is a big piece and the swords is a piece to my puzzle. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know, every video game you have regular, regular player, boss. Regular, regular player, boss. Right. He's one of the <laughs> bosses. You know what I mean? He's not the highest level boss, but he's one of the bosses. Right. Right. Yeah, do you remember the first time you know you met him or the first time you saw him? Battle? Um To be honest, uh the first the first battle I seen from the the swords was um it was him and Ilmac in the in the WRCs. I forgot who they were battling, but they were unstoppable. Like they were literally like they were unstoppable. Like no like they had the perfect like formula. Like and I watched them all through WRCs because um, they're the only people I kind of liked throughout WRCs. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people was like beyond corny. So they're the only people I liked throughout WRCs. Remind you, I really, I have a strong hatred for WRC. And why, I, why is that? I'll tell you why. I was, people don't know this. I was banned from WRC. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I got bye. banned from WRC and my boy AV and my boy Rockstar also got banned from WRC. And they said it was because we sound like smack rappers. And they pretty much- Who said that? They pretty much banned us because our style. Like that's what the judges said. Like I had a battle on WRC that never came out. I battled at Venice Beach, it never came out. AV and Rockstar battles came out and the judges was like, you guys sound like smack rappers. And they just kicked them out. Like, so, you know, I felt WRC was a little uh, street style bias at the time. It is what it is. But like I said, I watched this, I watched the source and them pave the way. I watched Diz pave the way. Uh, they also kicked my homegirl Charisma out of it because she was a street style rapper and she was Disaster's partner when it first started. And they kicked her out too. Uh, hmm. Kicked all the niggas so out. They, wait, so the WRCs never had any street guys? None. All of them were kicked out in the first round. Every last one of them. Charisma had like two battles. Charisma battle, it was Disaster and Charisma versus who? Uh, fucking, I think like Lush One and FLO or somebody, right? Disaster and Charisma versus Lush One and FLO. And you know, and Charisma did very good. And then the next time, Disaster had a new partner. And I was like, yo, Charisma, what happened? And he was like, they didn't like my style. They told Disaster to get another partner or whatever. I don't know, man, it was whatever. So, but, but I watched them. I watched the source and them slaughter everybody. They were like literally like manhandling everybody. And the battle that made me at the source fan was him and Ilmac. Like that battle was like, are y'all really gonna pull those skeletons out the closet like that? Right. Like they were pulling skeletons and I was just like, that was me and my homie, we would have had to fight. Like, you know what I mean? They pulled skeletons, like skeletons that you just, like right. those those things you post to hold to the grave, like you know what I mean. Like we boys, we ain't supposed to be. That's like, and that that was a big battle because 
you know, you, we didn't really see that kind of like in-depth personal. No, nah, that was it. That they don't get no, they that. don't, that battle has to go, it has to get award for most personal battle of all time. Like they were really like digging in. Like, I think, I think one round the swords are like, and your social security is eight, five, like, <laughs> bruh, you're going to give this man social out on, they went that deep. Like, I'm like, come on now, y'all going way too far. Um, so it's interesting because Thesaurus, I think a lot of people would credit him as being kind of like a father at this point, like a grandfather of that kind of West Coast style. Um, and we've seen his style kind of evolve over the years um, to be like much more more punchy, that kind of stuff. Um, do you feel like that like your West Coast style of like coming from the pit and coming from that that, I guess, like branch of battle rap like do you feel that thesaurus influenced you guys like that as well or, or was uh, he kind of a separate no thing? um like if you look at our earlier careers like i just uploaded a video to my youtube channel today or oh, what is that two days ago i don't know if you've seen it but i uploaded a battle i, I mm. uploaded a battle from 2004, I did, from 2004. And as you can see i haven't changed not much maybe a little more performance but content wise i haven't changed i've been rapping like this since who knows when and I tell my, I tell everybody I rap like this because of my older brother. Like I stole my style from my older brother. He raps. Nutso? Huh? What's his name? Nutso? Yeah, Nutso. Yeah, I stole my style from my other brother. Like he raps exactly like me. Well, I rap exactly like him. So I've been rapping like this since I can remember rapping. And you know, as you see, like in 2004, like the content was still there. The same type of haymakers. Mary Poppins, I'm a little teapot, you know, whatever. It's the same shit that's been there. Captain America, I've had them over the many years. They've all been there. Um, so I would say, like, you know, and then back then, like, the Soros had more of, like, a multi-syllable style. It wasn't really, it wasn't really punchlines, but it was amazing multi-syllable. Like, sometimes I used to tell myself, how the fuck does he continue that rhyme pattern that much? You know, them in the den, den in the den, Ben in the rhyme, mommy, you look like Johnny Apple, Ronnie Rapples with Connie Apples with Cotton Apples, Cotton Rapples. I used to be like, yo, when are you going to stop? Like, that was amazing to me. You know what I mean? It was amazing at the time. But, you know, as times change, you know what I mean? I would say, like, for my style, I just was ahead of my time for the West Coast back then. You know what I mean? As the game formed into more of a punchline style. You know what I mean? Like, like you can literally play that battle from 2004 and it'll sound relevant to today, right now. So, you know, it just at that era, the West Coast was on a different style. It was on a completely different style. And I think the Soros did indeed, and I, I, I respect them for that. Because if you look at most of the grind time rappers, instead of like adapting with the way the game went, they just stopped rapping. They like look like really think of like 90% of grind time. They stop rapping. Moss Gelatin, Sergeant General, Satire. Like everybody just was like, I'm done. Like I like that's not what I do. I'm done. But the sword is like he molded. You know what I mean? Like he molded to, you know, the one-two punch. He'll give you a multi, like a flurry of multis here and there. But he he molded. And that's why he's still relevant right now. 